Listen to John Brisson Live for the best in late night political talk Saturday night. America is advanced citizenship. You have got to want it bad. John Brisson. John Brisson. Listen live or archive on www.johnbrislandshow.com. Did you know that six-month-old babies learning sign language are smarter, less frustrated, and can communicate with adults? Sound amazing? Well, go to babysignlanguagereview.com and start today teaching your baby how to communicate with you. Shop online for inexpensive programs on how to teach your baby how to talk with you. Baby Sign Language Review Sign Language are smarter. Did you know that six month old babies learning sign language are smarter, less frustrated, and can communicate with adults? Sound amazing? Well, go to Baby Sign Language Review.com and start today teaching your baby how to communicate with you. Shop online for inexpensive programs on how to teach your baby how to talk with you. BabySignLanguageReview.com has leading programs available. Bond with your baby. Teach your baby to tell you, I'm hungry, I'm hurt, milk please. BabySignLanguageReview.com has it all. Go today to BabySignLanguageReview.com and give your baby a leg up in a very competitive world. BabySignLanguageReview.com will help you each step of the way in teaching your baby to communicate with you. Start bonding today and have a happier Less frustrated, smart baby. That's baby sign language review.com. Go there now. Back to the John Brislin Show. The phone number to call in is 702-257-5396-257-KDWN. Now, the Senate just passed an immigration bill that they've been working on for quite some time. And I guess not surprisingly, Marco Rubio, uh, the junior senator from Florida and also likely presidential uh, candidate come up in uh, 2016, uh, voted for it. He did, and obviously the majority of... Uh, of senators voted for it because it passed. It has nowhere to go in the House unless we get shocked by something. But those kind of shocks could come. A lot of people are doing a lot of things to get this through. It comes in three parts. And essential, essentially the story is that we're going to secure the border to make sure that we don't have that kind of illegal activity crossing back and forth. And I do mean back and forth. Um, and then also the path to citizenship and uh, the securing the border and solving the problem before we, giving, we give citizenship is kind of the key to most people because we've gone down this road before. Um, but I mean, we'll just have to see. But right, now, uh, but right now, I would like to introduce you to a friend of mine, Peter Christian. Uh, he is uh, the owner of ChristianFilipina.com, ChristianFilipina.com. Um, he, uh, his wife is from the Philippines and is a legal immigrant uh, to the United States, and they live in Hawaii. Peter, are you with me? Yeah, hi, John. Here I am. Oh, fantastic. Thank you very much for taking the time, my friend. Well, with this immigration bill that has just passed the Senate, uh, supposedly what it's going to do is make uh, a pathway to citizenship for, uh, for the illegal immigrants that are here right now. Now, when your wife immigrated to America, how difficult was it for her? I have heard some nightmare stories. How was it for you? Well, one of the difficult things that, that everybody who, who comes here legally has to go through is that it's a long process. We actually were already married, and yet our process of, of going through the paperwork in a very typical application took almost a year to go through wow. so although it did eventually go through uh, th just the delay itself can can be a bit problematic in terms of your family if you're forced to live in a different place for such a long time now how do you feel about people that just bypass that and come in illegally I mean how does the legal immigration the illegal uh, legal immigrant community feel about the illegal immigrant community are you happy with this bill or do you think it's unfair that they cheated and now they're getting away with it? Well, we personally aren't, aren't, aren't opposed to the bill. Um, we, we don't know the details of it, but in, in the general theme, that we feel that 
that what that it makes sense that people who have been contributing, who, who have been here law abiding for various you know length of time, if they came here with their parents or whatever the history may be, even going back to people like Ronald Reagan, there's always been an attitude that we'd be ideal to figure solve the problem for those people, and we don't have a problem with that. You don't. Okay. We, we would we would love to hear about having more attention focused on making the immigration process more streamlined for those people who were coming in normally, who are already married like we were. Yes. That process could be done within two to four months instead of 12 months. And, and so there's a lot of people who would, who would be very happy if Washington focused on that issue. You know, we hear a lot about the illegal immigration or just immigration in general, covering both legal and illegal, from Mexico and maybe the Americas. How is, how, how is the immigration scene in Hawaii? Uh, is there an illegal immigration problem? I'm not familiar with it. I mean, is, is there an illegal immigration problem or any kind of immigration issue in Hawaii coming from maybe Asia or the Philippines? Or, or uh, are the people from the Philippines coming over, you know, and having a problem or doing it illegal? What's it look like down there? From time to time, we do hear about, about employers, especially a few farms, who have brought people here illegally or hired them illegally. I'm not sure how they've done that, but we hear about them being busted for not doing a good job. I mean, obviously, it's illegal to have illegal people working for you. And then additionally, to, to, to not, not doing a good job taking care of them even while they are working for them. So um, we know that something like that happened, and we have no idea how it does happen because I'm <clears> – <throat> We do know that there is some illegal immigration reported because the, the police do bust farms from time to time. And we haven't heard about that having a big impact. We don't think that there's a lot of sense in Hawaii that there are people illegal taking away jobs. We haven't heard about that. So we think it's not a big problem. It, it could be because Hawaii is right in the middle of the ocean, so it's very difficult to get here. It, the, the border enforces itself. Right, which is, we hear so many things where that where um, you know Asians are put in you know uh, those containers, those little shipping containers, and they're put on boats and, and and they come across and and one way or another they come over and actually in a, in a I would think maybe a much more difficult and much more dangerous way. To, I mean, how would you like to be in a container on a container ship for you know a, a, a month or six weeks or however long that takes? So you yeah, know, have you? and I have no idea whether, whether that happens with people coming to Hawaii or not. Have what you... I do know is that here there are a lot of farms where there are Chinese people working, and they work very hard. I, I don't know if they're here legally or illegally. I would assume they're here legally, but they're not taking away jobs from anybody. So how do people... Most people around here are not interested in working as hard as they do. Interesting. I mean, you hear that a lot, and... and... And I, I don't know that I buy it completely, but it's 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 interesting that you've seen that. The now, it, it, what is what is the situation right now for, uh, in in your view, and in, in dealing with it personally, and in, in going uh, where, now when you married your wife, it was did you go to Philip to the Philippines or did she come to you? I mean, did you meet her in Hawaii in or in the Philippines? Philippines? Visiting a friend of mine when I met her, mm -hmm. and we got married there. We we lived there briefly together, and. We actually tried to come on a tourist. We tried to have her come on a tourist visa just to attend my wife's, uh, I'm sorry, my sister's wedding. Uh, but even though we were married, we couldn't get a tourist visa for my wife. And we, we started the immigration process for her so that we could come here later on. It did eventually work out. It just took a, took a long time in order to finally get that immigration paperwork so that she could come here. Interesting. Interesting. So, and, and it, has it streamlined or gotten more complicated over the years since then? That was about four years ago, and things are about the same now as they were then. Okay. Things have stayed about the same for 10 years. There's two processes if, for, for people who are related to a family member to come over. Um, in, in the case of, of, of your wife, there's one called the, the spousal visa and another one called the fiancé visa. 
So the United States does have those two processes. A lot of companies, a lot of countries don't have those two different visa avenues, but they both take almost a year. Now, is this what inspired you to, to build your business, to found your business? It's fairly unrelated. We, we felt that, that the options for men and women to meet on international dating sites were, were uh, primarily dominated by, by scam sites and by, by actual individual scammers, whether they're from the Philippines or Nigeria, and we thought we could do better. So we, we tried to set up a site, and we succeeded in, in bringing together thousands and thousands of people have already met, met at our site and uh, moved either to the Philippines together or moved to the United States, or Australia, Belgium, all over the world. Now, let me interrupt you for a second. I, I should have prefaced that by explaining that, that Peter founded a company that is called ChristianFilipino.com, and it is a, a very uh, a reputable site for people to uh, meet uh, Filipino, uh, specifically uh, Filipino um, uh, partners, you know, whether male and female, right? Yeah, that's, that's true. We, we have many women and many men who, who are from the Philippines, Filipinos and Filipinas, and we also have many, primarily men, from outside of the Philippines. So from, from every country and every state in the world, we've had hundreds of people just from Las Vegas alone, and they, they, they find and meet friends. They're part of the community. We have a forum community where people can change, interchange stories, and, and many times people meet, become friends, then become more than friends, and eventually get married. Now, how do you handle the immigration issue when it comes to situations like this? I mean, is it just long-distance dating? or I mean, I would assume at some point that you, you would hope that uh, if people uh, connect with, uh, with other individuals in the Philippines or here or whatever the case is, well, then you're going to naturally have immigration issues. And, and you know, is it just simply you get a tourist visa to go there or for them to come here? Or, you know, have you run into any unusual stories? Uh, yeah, with one the business interesting thing is that a, a lot of people in the United States and, uh, and other, and other of the, the, the more wealthy countries don't even realize how difficult it is for people to visit. In fact, the truth of the matter is that most of the people in the world couldn't get a tourist visa to the U.S. if they tried. They huh. couldn't come here to see the home of McDonald's or the Elvis Presley or Mount Rushmore or anything like that. And there's, there's probably good reasons for it. Um, but that's just a fact that many people don't know. So, yeah, well, I mean, even I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll confess, even I, fig I figured, well, you know, if, if you're in Norway and you, you want to come over for a couple weeks and see the Grand Canyon and you just, you know, go online and pay 10 bucks or some, some imaginary fee that I've come up with in my head and, uh, you kind of, you go on your way, but it's not that easy. Well, there are, Norway, I believe is one of the countries where you can come. There, there are a list of a limited list of countries that, in short, there, there's a reciprocal agreement where those countries are, are rich enough and the, the civil rights and liberties are, are similar enough to the United States that there, there's no visa required. But most countries and most of the more popul populous and poorer countries aren't, aren't part of that. So people from those places, in order to even come visit, they need to go through a, a visa process, a visitor visa process, and most people from those countries are not allowed even if they apply and pay the couple hundred dollars at the visa, the United States Embassy, they're not allowed to come here to the United States. Now, is what are the countries that are poor? I mean, are they are Philippines, where your wife is from? Is that considered a poor country? I mean, it's, yes, absolutely. I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's there's not. There's many people in the Philippines who work for five dollars a day. Gotcha. Now I'm exposing my. Even even China, which is now becoming richer, but there are so many people who are still poor in that country. India, these are countries where there are, there is an upper class, right? And those people, in some cases, are rich enough so that they can qualify for a tourist visa. But 98 percent of the people from from those countries are not able to qualify for a visa to come to the United States just to come visit. They can't even come to go through the airport. They can't get a visa to come have a, a layover for four hours in the Miami or LA airport to get a cheaper plane ticket. Wow. Now, how do you deal with that with your business? Well, we, we do educate people, and we tell them you're going to need a visa if you want to have a Filipina come to your country. We educate them and tell them that, 
they'll have to consider the two options for the United States is the fiancé visa or the spousal visa. Other countries have different requirements. For instance, in Australia, there's more flexibility for, for tourist visas from the Philippines than there is for, than there is in comparison to the United States. But nevertheless, in order to live in Australia, they still have to go through the same spousal visa process, which can also take a while. So we don't personally process visas for people at the present time. We don't help them with that at all. But we do have relationships with visa processors that can that can help to to guide people. You can actually go through the immigration paperwork all on your own. And yeah. That sounds like something you fun. Thousand dollars <laughs> or fifteen hundred dollars, depending on which which route it is in that neighborhood ballpark, and you can get it. But many people choose to to use a visa processor to help them with the paperwork, whether it's a lawyer or just somebody who knows more about it. So we actually have a, a discount program, even that's part of our membership, so that people can have a discount with visa processors to make that a little bit more affordable for them. Interesting. Interesting. Well, this is, it's really, um, you know, we started off talking about the Senate bill and uh, kind of got into, I guess, naturally, because that's, that's your company and where your expertise is. It's uh, uh, ChristianFilipino.com. Now, the the thing is, it, this is really something that we don't usually talk about as a community, as a country, is in how you just carry on a normal life, you know, how you, uh, <laughs> you know, deal with going from one country to the next. And, you know, everything seems to be this this talk of the illegal immigration, and when it comes, what it comes down to, it sounds like to me, uh, is that the legal immigration is just as twisted and and torn up and not very efficient. Uh, well, it has its own problems, and uh, the illegal immigration is well is the only thing that we seem to be focusing on. So that's what. Um, I, I'm running up against the clock. I got producer Clyde over here telling me to, uh, you know, tick tock, tick tock. He's pointing at his watch. I got it, buddy. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> um, but Peter, it is great talking with you. I'm sorry we had to be so rushed. But if somebody wanted to get in touch with you and find out more information on on how we do the things that we were talking about today and and what ChristianFilipina.com could do for them, what would they do other than simply going on the website? Is there a phone number yeah, they could call it's you at? Pretty easy. We, we, we do have a, a YouTube channel where we, we provide some advice, but primarily people search for Christian Filipina on the Internet, and they find our site. We've got dozens of advice articles regarding immigration. We've got dozens of advice articles on, on other topics, just dating, safety, Internet, Internet dating safety, so and relationships as well. So just come, go ahead and, and visit, and you can even join the forum, ask other people about topics that, that, that are on your mind. And, be part of that community. Thanks a lot, John, for uh, having us on today. Oh, Peter, absolutely. Thank you very much. And it, it's uh, my guest has been uh, Peter Christopher. Or, excuse me, Peter Christian. Uh, <laughs> Christian Filipina. Peter Christopher. Peter Christopher. Okay. I, yeah. Uh, thanks, Peter. But uh, Peter Christopher from Christian. That's where I'm getting it confused. Christian and yeah. then Christopher, and I'm losing it. <laughs> well, the, his Peter's website is ChristianFilipina.com. That's ChristianFilipina.com. And uh, thank you very much for sharing the story about uh, your family, your wife, and, and your travels and, and uh, what immigration has been like for you and your family. You're welcome. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. You too, sir. And that's uh, Peter Christopher from ChristianFilipina.com. And next up uh, on the John Breslow Show, we're going to be talking about some of the issues that have been in the news lately. Uh, the